Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Friday. Ah, love is in the air. Candy, flowers, jewelry, expensive dinners, cards with heartfelt sentiment, marriage proposals, weddings, exotic trips, and a little Versace on the floor. It must be Valentine's Day, the day of love. But where did it come from and why do we celebrate it anyway? The history of Valentine's Day is a little sketchy and not everyone can agree on where it came from, but this is what we know so far. There were two men in history named St. Valentine, but the one that we want is St. Valentine of Rome. It's believed that he was a Roman priest and a physician. After that, it's all legend and folklore. One such legend says that St. Valentine was martyred. You see, the emperor at the time was a pagan and he had very strict rules about what Christians can and cannot do and St. Valentine refused to renounce his faith. Another legend says that St. Valentine was executed. You see, the emperor at that time believed that single men made better soldiers than men who were married with families. So he outlawed marriage for men. But St. Valentine came around and started doing secret marriages. One particularly saucy legend says that Pope Gelasius I declared February 14th as Valentine's Day to replace a pagan holiday called Lupercalia. Lupercalia was a highly sexually charged celebration, complete with animal sacrifices, wine, nudity, and promiscuity. Of course, the party raged on for days. Regardless of who did it and why we celebrate it, Valentine's Day is all about showing love and adoration for the people in our lives. So whether it's a homemade card, a diamond necklace, or a chili dog dinner by candlelight, make sure to make it special and do it from the heart. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.